This is a short tutorial on how to do diamond problems. So once again, we were talking about patterns, and so looking at this, um, these two numbers here, when you find the product of them, it equals to four, and then these two numbers, when you find the sum of them, it's equal to five. So let's look at some examples here of just kind of some strategies that you can use. So once again, these two numbers, when you multiply them together, it'll be this top number. So 4 times 2 is 8. And the sum of these two numbers, 4 plus 2, is 6. And for me, I like to actually put the operations on my diamond problem so that it just kind of helps keep things straight for me. So here's the second problem. Now, you can see that they don't give you the two numbers, so I would say pause, see if you can actually work it out, and then kind of unpause it and see if you kind of um, figured it out. Okay, so I'm hoping you're back. Um, so once again, I'm looking for two numbers that when I multiply these two numbers together, they're going to equal 6, and when I add these two numbers together, they're going to equal 7. So what I want to think about is like what are some of the factors or things that multiply to 6. So I have like 2 times 3, and I could check. 2 times 3 is 6, okay, but 2 plus 3 is not 7. Okay, so that's not it. Oh yeah, and then there's also 6 times 1. So don't forget this one, because this is a common one people forget about. 6 times 1, yeah, that's 6, and 6 plus 1, 7. So those are my two numbers. And once again, I like to do this little strategy of putting the plus and minus on the diamond problem to kind of keep myself organized. So once again, look at this, set it up, hit the pause button, and then start back up again to see if you kind of can figure it out. Okay, welcome back. I'm assuming you didn't try it at least. So once again, these two numbers, I'm looking for, once again, these two numbers, multiply to 8 and add to, and we don't know what that number is. So we've got to do a lot of working here. But really, do we? Because what we're looking for is 2 times some number equals 8. Well, we know what that is. That's 4. And then once I figured that number out, then I know that these two numbers added together give me the bottom number, which is 6. Okay, well, try some other diamond problems. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I'll do another one later with uh, decimals and integers, but this is just kind of a, or there's also the integers one already. So good luck with these. They take a little practice, but they are good problem solving, and you will find out that they have lots of relevance when you get to algebra.